The job quantity complete entry screen is used by companies who have unit price type jobs set up in their spectrum environment. Any quantities that are entered in this screen also flow over into the projected cost entry workflow as well. To get started, let's open a new site map and navigate to job cost, data entry, and quantity complete. Fill in the job number that you want to work with today. If you don't have the job number, you can also click on the drop down and hit enter and search for the job by name. Once you fill in the job number, you will notice that your batch code will automatically fill in for you. So just hit enter to proceed to the work date field. Please note that the work date should correspond to the date that the quantities were completed. Hit enter on your keyboard to proceed through the phase and cost type fields, accepting the defaults to include all phases and cost types. On each phase as applicable, enter the additional quantity amount to represent the increment for that phase for the date that you listed at the top of the screen. If you are only tracking a total for a specific phase, you can just enter the job to date total in the new job to date quantity field. Repeat this process for any additional phases. Then, once you've entered the quantities for all applicable phases, click on the listing button at the top to go to the edit report selection screen. On this screen, leave all settings as is and click on the green preview button to preview this report. Review the report for accuracy, ensuring that the quantities that you are about to update are correct. Click on the archive button and then fill in your keywords to save a copy of this report. Then click on the green continue button and click on OK to close the dialog box. You have now archived a copy of this report. From here, you can feel free to also email, download, or print a copy of this report as needed. Or you can simply close the report tab at the top. Then save and close out of the edit listing window by clicking on the check mark at the top right hand side. This will bring you back to the job quantity complete entry screen. Click on the update button and then click on the green continue button to update your batch. Click on the OK button to close the dialog box and then save and close out of the job quantity complete entry screen and your processing is now complete.